Introducing Entertainment Dissected with your host, Joe Socrates. Welcome to Entertainment Dissected, the show where we're always down to build a snowman. Frozen 2 just came out and blew away box office expectations, drawing in over $350 million worldwide on its opening weekend. The film's opening can also claim 100% more acts of real-world violence than Joker, as a machete brawl broke out at a screening of the film in a London cinema. Proof positive that some folks just can't let it go. What? Hold on. What's that? Oh, Christ. Okay. Give me that. Ah, well, it turns out the motive was likely gang-related, and the incident is one of 16 significant incidents at various cinemas on that same day around London, which is also the same day the BBC-backed gang film Blue Story was released, leading to that film being pulled from theaters. You know, it's funny that uh, every headline about this mentions Frozen 2. It's like not enough people worldwide would have known what Blue Story was. Speaking of things you should learn to let go of, Star Wars rumors are flying around more than the Stormtroopers in Episode 9. Oh, they fly now! They fly now? One rumor states Rey is actually the Emperor's granddaughter, and that the Emperor who died in Return of the Jedi was actually a clone of himself that he sent in his stead since he foresaw his own death. And then Rey kills the actual Emperor in this film after he wipes out Kylo Ren with a bunch of... Force ghosts helping... Her. There are also rumors of audiences walking out of test screenings of the film, which, if true, would make sense with that dumb ending. Look, folks, to be serious, if J.J. reuses a bunch of themes and dead characters, it's not because he's afraid to take risk. No. It's because he's a person using Star Wars sentimentality, um, yub-nub. Yeah. To create a connection with the audience. I mean, he is the person who single-handedly cultivated Ray's origin through creative heist because he's an individual very against generating ideas or new assets. As we hurtle towards Episode 9's December 20th release, we'll be discussing even more Star Wars news. So may the Force be with you because that's your Entertainment Dissected for the week!